like a high head guy, kind of. Fuck you, my nigga! Fuck you, my nigga! Fuck you, my nigga! Fuck you, my nigga! It's him, bro. And today's video, man, I'm gonna show you how me and my boy Demo sampled a crazy game. Obviously, you know what God of War is, man. If you don't know what God of War is, then, like, bro. Like, you need to, there's something wrong with you, man. But yeah, we're gonna show you how we sampled God of War, bro, and turned it into the filthiest stinky drill beat in human history, man. The stinkiest drill beat, man. I swear to God, man. And as you can see, there is a lot of stuff that we're going to break. A lot of stuff that we're gonna break down today, man. This, this project keeps going, man. It doesn't stop, bro. But yeah, man, we're gonna break this down, man. I'm gonna show you everything that I did and the mix and everything, man, and show you how you know I managed to come up with this crazy beat idea, man. Obviously, let me start off by showing you a preview of the beat that we're gonna break down today. Drop this shit, demos. stop it there man you guys get the point man crazy beat man crazy beat but anyways let me not talk too much let me start off with breaking down the drums in this so obviously i'm gonna start off by showing the snare or the counter snare sort of that i use in this man very simple pattern with some delay on it so let me play this Very simple, some delay on it obviously, like I said. You know, delay, uh, time set to there, the cut set to there, and the volume about there. So that's just the you know, basic snare pattern right there for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the um, kick that I use in this. Oh! Yeah, destroy 3000! That kick chunky as hell, man. Kick so fat, got diagnosed with diabetes, bro. That's how fat the kick is. But yeah, man, simple kick pattern right there. You know, we added a little kick roll here as well, you know, do -do -do -ch -ch, just to make the the kick pattern sound a bit more interesting. So let's head over to the next sound, which is the Juice 808. This is my secret sauce 808, man. And guess what? I'm gonna give it to you guys for free, man. So if you want this 808, man, I'm gonna put a Dropbox link in the bio and you can get this 808 that I use for this God of War beat. Just as a way to thank you guys for, you know, helping my channel grow all this year, man. I've been growing rapidly this year, man. I swear I started the year with about 2K subs. We're about, I think two, uh, no, 6K, 6K, yeah, I think 6K. Yeah, so I appreciate that, guys, man. But yeah, let me play this, man. Very filthy 808. Homemade 808, obviously whipped it up in the kitchen. When I mean the kitchen, I mean syrup. You know, added a bunch of, you know, different effects on it. And also mixed it in the mixer track too, man. But yeah, very simple 808 pattern right there. Now we got a snare from Ghosty's kit. I put it on B4. Just add a bit more, you know. Uh, just to pitch the snare a bit down a little bit, you know what I mean? Some reverb in it as well. You can hear, you can really hear the reverb on that snare. Uh, just some free reverb, Nova Hollow Vintage, sorry guys, but, and a bit of EQ right there. We also got this extra counter snare that we added to make the pattern sound more interesting. 
some delay on that. We also got another counter snare here, my heavy counter snare from, I'm um, pretty sure that's my experimental kit. Some delay on that as well. Most of these got delay on it. Another one here, this is like a snare roll. Snare rolls here. I put one at D6 and then one at C6. I pitched them up just to make it sound a bit more interesting. And I put and one there as well. And the delay on this one is a bit different. The time is set to about there. The cut is there. And yeah, man, that's it for that one. We also got a gunshot at the end, man. The gunshot's mandatory, man. I, I can't make beats without putting a gunshot at the end. No cap, bro. It's just it just feels wrong. Let me play you this real quick. It's at the end right here. Let me fast forward this a bit. We also got another uh, counter snare here from K9Z kit. Very simple. We also got a ghosty grime right here. But what I did, I sl uh, what I did, I did a, like a little slide here for the grime, and I also put reverb on it and put some delay on it, so it sort of like fades out when it uh, when it slides. You also got the Sonic Boom Art Grind from Ghosty's Kit. One of my favorites. We also got a little bit of a. I don't know what to call this. It's like a. Just a little bit of a counter snare pattern, I'll just say. I'll call it. I don't know, a, a snare drop. I don't know. I'll probably just call it that. As you can see, it goes from one key, then it goes down, 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 and it goes down here as well. Very simple, not very hard to do. We also got this K9 uh, Z snare that I used here, called a slamming snare, just to add a little bit of a, you know, bit of uniqueness to the beat right here. Some delay on that too. And we also got the ghosty spaceship uh, grime here. Some reverb on that. You can hear like this, you know, the wideness or the reverbiness of that um, grime right there. Also got a Vox from my leaked. Oh, was it? Was it all? Was it leak source or? No, I, don't, I don't remember. But I think it's from my leak source or my Vox Madness kit from quite a while ago. You know when you're doing a, when you're making a beat, man, your, your FL crashes. Ah, oh, you know one of them things, bro. One of them ones. <laughs> Big man thing. We got the Road Rage Vox. Fuck! Fuck! We also got the Boomerang effect, man. Classic sound. I always used to use this back in 2022 for the sim bounce type beats, man. One of my favorite sounds. If you guys, you you guys know. But yeah, man, that's it for all the sounds, really. Now, if you're wondering how I did the little grime thing uh, drop at the start, what I did is that I had I have two grimes here. I basically combined them together. As you can see, both of them. And what I did, I added a riser as well when the drop was about to happen. With a re uh, I also reversed a Vox here. The box becomes like a riser a bit. This is what it originally sounds like without the little reverse effect on it. And you reverse it in combination with the riser. Well, two risers, in fact. And that's what made that filthy grime drop at the start. The rest are just extra 808 patterns and all that stuff, really. It's but it's the same sounds. I didn't really use anything more on it, but yeah, man. That's pretty much it for the sounds. Now we're gonna go ahead to the mix and we're gonna see everything that I did in the mix. So yeah, man, mix very simple. Uh, a lot of the sounds, I just leveled them and put a bit of delay from, de de delays for most of the sounds. I use delay on practically all my counter snares and perks and stuff like that. Um, I put a stereo enhancer on some of the grimes, you know, as you can see, I put it on stereo and I put a reverse polarity on it as well. 
stereo on this a little bit as well stereo on this the juice 808 man stereo enhancer with a bit of eq uh for the kick you know my sin kick preset you know i always use that man i, I think you guys already know you know my preset I, I swear i had it in one of my kits man if you want it then go and cop it uh two soft clippers on the master as usual and the melody we eq'd it to get rid of the low frequencies man and that's pretty much it for the mix there's nothing really special about this mix right here and yeah man now for the arrangement and stuff a bunch of risers and we also added an automation clip from love pilfter you know to switch up throughout the beat and i also added this little drop thing right here Makes it sound interesting with a couple chops right here, as you can see. Makes it sound a bit more interesting. And yeah, man, that's pretty much it for the arrangement. Now I'm gonna play you uh, this beat again to about, I don't know, maybe there. If you wanna hear the rest of it, you can go on my YouTube channel uh, and you can listen to the whole beat if you want, man. All right, let's do it, man. And you know, as for the speech clips and that, I basically just sound uh, searched up video game effects, uh, Kratos, you know, God of War, and basically a bunch of like different, you know, effects and speech clips of him saying stuff came up, and I just used this. I am the God of War. And obviously, I just mixed them just to make it sound a bit more interesting by putting some delay and some reverb. That's pretty much it, man. Not very hard to do. Like I said, if you want to get like these speech clips that I do and all that stuff, just go on YouTube, search up video games, uh, speech clips or sound effects and stuff, and put in the game that you want to sample or movie or whatever. And a lot of them, you know, they just, they've been uploaded on YouTube. You can just, you know, download it, download it that way, man. But yeah, other than that, man, not very hard to do. Drop that shit, demo. And that's pretty much it for the beat guys just repeat yourself from there if you like today's video please subscribe drop a like you know suggest some new content i should drop as well man and some other collabs that i should do man and make sure you cut my drum kits by dm me on instagram or something i'm gonna be dropping a new drum kit soon as well guys so stay tuned for that i'm out boys peace